Who was the hardest person to live with in the villa? Um. Hi, I'm Molly May Haig. I'm here with Cosmo UK and I'm playing text on the beach. I've got a text. Hi, Molly May. What was the best thing about being on Love Island? Hmm, okay, the best thing about being on Love Island, as cringy as it sounds, would probably have to be meeting Tommy. Um, I know that's a little bit cringe, but yeah, I mean, the standout thing for me would probably be obviously getting a boyfriend and also making really great friends on there as well. Obviously, I met Maura, who's one of, my, one of my best friends now, and all the other girls who are absolutely incredible. So yeah, probably that. Who was the hardest person to live with in the villa? Um, I mean, there wasn't really anyone that stands out to me as like being the hardest to live with. I think there was times where everyone got on each other's nerves a little bit. I'm sure that I probably got on people's nerves. I know I can be a little bit whingy and, and loud sometimes. I think everyone can. So I think everyone at certain points all got on each other's nerves a little bit because we were in that like, house for eight weeks together. So that's kind of normal. What was the hardest challenge you had to do in the villa? Um, I don't know, I found the challenges quite hard with the social media and um, like finding out what people were saying about you at home and stuff. I think that showed that I found that quite hard. I think when, when you have no idea what's going on in the outside world to hear things, you know, what people are saying about you that aren't necessarily positive, it's a little bit hard. Which islanders do you still see? Well, at the moment it's hard because we're all so busy and we're all like, obviously it's all brand new to us, this new life, and we're all so busy doing our own things. But um, I still see Maura a lot. I see, I see most of the girls. Um, they all came to an event I had the other day. Like we're all still in contact, so yeah. Obviously, apart from Tommy, I still see all the girls. What was your most used makeup product on Love Island? Um, do you know what? I have to give a shout out to Anna here because she literally gave everyone all of her makeup in the villa. I used her makeup every single day, like her foundation, everything. When I bought in completely the wrong colour, because obviously you get a tan when you're in the villa, and my foundation was literally the colour of a piece of paper when I was going really dark. So, yeah, we all kind of shared makeup, but shout out to Anna for literally lending me her makeup every single day. I, I couldn't use my foundation after like the third day. I was like, well, this is bad. Like, I guess I'm not wearing foundation for Love Island then. What's next for you and Tommy? Um, well, Tommy and I have just moved in together, so I think it's probably just going to be focusing on getting our flat looking nice and just like having our life together. Everything's so good, and I think we're just focusing on the fact that obviously we've just taken a big step in moving in together. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'll let Tommy have too much input in the decoration of the flat. Um, if I did that, I think the whole apartment would be ending up boxing themed and have like famous boxes all over the wall which I, I think I'll let him have a room for that but not the whole flat so I think most of it will be down to me and a may mayonnaise room. Tommy's brother Tyson said you guys are working on a TV show what can you tell us about that? Not a lot to be honest there isn't I mean everyone's talking about this TV show I'm, I mean I'm unaware so I don't really know myself I can't spill any tea on that but um, yeah you never know what's gonna happen in the future so I guess keep your eyes out. What have you been up to since Love Island? I've been extremely busy since Love Island. I've had a really exciting fashion collab come out and now I've moved on to hair and I've just collabed with Beauty Works, which is really exciting for me because I've loved their products and used their products for a really, really long time and it just felt right to work with them. So yeah, I'm really excited to be collabing with Beauty Works. If you like what you've seen today, subscribe to Cosmo UK today.